Four people Hi Owen, Lynn here with Ring and SEO and Digital Marketing. First of all, thank you so much for giving us the opportunity to make this short custom video that Tony promised with tips and tricks on how you can increase your online presence all on your own and in return bring in better paying customers for the services that you prefer the most. So let's get on with it. So first of all, let me go ahead and share with you that 8.5 billion people a day are searching on Google. And some of those are searching for your exact same services in your exact same area. And right now, there's a lot of things going on with your website that I really like, and you do have some opportunities which could bring in a lot more business without you having to really go out and get it, Owen. So one of the first things I notice is you do have a click to call button here. That's very important. Since the majority of people who are searching on Google are doing it from their cell phones, and them not having to go somewhere else to hunt for your number is very important. I like the way that you have your services listed out here. Google really likes to have multiple ways to get around your website. Just to let you know, I would make this menu be sticky so that it stays at the top the entire time that people are scrolling in case they would like to go ahead and navigate to a different area. Now, I see that these pictures are actually click to a different page buttons but you wouldn't know that unless you actually went over it so i make that be so as continuously lit up the next thing is is to google <coughs> content is king and so you really want to have around at least 1500 words of unique helpful content on all the pages that you want to be found for so right now you have about 500. Um, I would also make at least icons, if not pictures, to go with these to make them more eye-catching. And then for the pictures that you do have, you really want to have those be saved with location-specific buyer intent keywords. Now, we don't have a whole lot of pictures on here, but the ones we do have, are just saved with things like download. And so you're really missing out on a great opportunity right there. Um, within the content we were just talking about, um, you really wanna also, of course, have the buyer and take keywords. Because what happens is, is when a customer is searching for specific things such as River, Delaware, Ohio, then that search term is what Google uses to direct them to the website that they want. And so if you have those keywords in there, it goes a long way. Okay. So let's go and go talk about some numbers. So this is Arabs. It is a program that I use. It is a little bit pricey, but it does tell me a lot about the back end of websites and the things that Google is seeing. So let's go ahead and talk about some of the most important things on here. And that's going to be the UR and the DR. Now the UR is your website's trust with Google, and the DR is its power with Google. Now, the way that you get these two things is with backlinks. And in case you may not know, a backlink is just a link on someone else's trusted website that points from their website to your website and transfers power and trust to it. So as you can see, you do have seven different websites that have 57 backlinks on them, but you're only being found for six keywords right now and you're not really getting any traffic to your website. So that means it's more like an online business card, Owen. And unless people put in your specific web address, they're not gonna be able to find you. So let's go ahead and go look at one of your competition. I just put in Roofers, Delaware, Ohio, and this is one of the first people that I found, Mike's Roofing Incorporated. Um, they do have a lot of things going on that I really like with their website. I love the color scheme. Um, they definitely have more content, they have a video, I think they also have a blog, which is another great way. Google really wants to see the people that it looks to as being authorities in their business to be on the top part of Google. So the more content that you can have, the better that is. So let's go and go look at their numbers. Now, this is what I was talking about with the UR and DR. Now, you can see how their numbers are very close. It's a 15 and a 12. And the closer you can get together is what we call the golden ratio. So, ideally, you really want these numbers to be within one point of each other. 
but 15 and 12 is pretty good. And then we have the backlinks. As you can see, he does have quite a bit of backlinks, but I do believe that you could catch him over time. Now look, here's the important part. 440 keywords, and then he's getting over 500 people a month to his website on average. Now, I'm not saying that all those people are buying from him, but let's just say half to a third of those people come to his website and give him a call. What would that do to your business? I mean, what's your, what's your closing rate? Is it 30%? Is it 50%? Is it 70%? Just imagine what that could do for your business. Um, so, and with the keywords, you want to make sure that, you know, you want to put on there the things that you, the services you relate to the most, you make the most money on, and then the places you want to work the most that you think that people are calling from. Now, if we were doing it, we would actually do the research to find the best keywords they're going to take the least time to rank for and have the people who are searching for it the most. The money is in the research, Owen. So the last thing we're going to talk about today is the Google Map Pack. Um, now, the reason this is important is because it's the first people thing people see besides ads. And let's talk about what it takes to get to the top of the Google Map Pack. Now, the first thing is going to be citations. Now, all a citation is is your name, address, and phone number across different places across the web. Whether it's going to be social media accounts, Facebook, Instagram, um, websites like the Better Business Bureau, or one of the literally thousands of directories we have on the internet. Now, you do want to make sure that these are niche relevant. So for roofing or the pole barns, you know, real estate, home and garden, websites, things like that. Um, blogs are great. You can do great backlinks normally. Um, and you really want to make sure that your name, address, and phone number is correct on your Google My Business, and then it is the same on all the different places you go to get citations. Now, the next important thing are your images that you have. We recommend that every time you go to do a job, go ahead and take some pictures and upload that to your Google My Business. Now, this does a couple of different things for you. First of all, Google really likes to see its business owners be active on their Google page. Secondly, it really tells Google that you are doing what you say you're doing, um, where you're doing it, and you're doing a good, good job. And you also want to save your images with the buyer intent keywords we've already talked about. And then also geotagging them is a great thing to do also. So that way in Google's mind, or there's no question to Google, that that is what you're doing on. Next is reviews. Very, very important. You really want to try to get as many five-star reviews as you possibly can, obviously. And we do have some tricks to make that a little bit easier we can talk about later. Um, if you do get a nice, not-so-great review that is less than a five, um, go ahead and try and respond to that as quickly as possible. We rarely recommend trying to do it within a day of receiving the review. And that also looks really good to Google. Lastly, let's talk about your business description. Now, you do have up to 750 words of content that you can do in your description. You can go to free websites like wordcounter.com to check and see how many you have. And then you really want to list out all your services and tell what sets you apart from your local competition. So, Owen, I really hope that you have found this video informative. And if you have any questions, please reach out to us. Um, we really would appreciate some feedback on the video. And otherwise, I just hope you have a great day. Take care and hope we will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.